What up guys, my name is B Green and in this video we are going to give you an introductory lesson on FL Studio. This video is for beginners and it'd be simple and as basic as it gets and you're going to be able to get started making beats as you watch this video. Let's waste no more time, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is open up FL Studio. And if you don't have FL Studio, you can go to image-line.com and get yourself a free trial. You can also purchase the program outright on there. Now that you got your Fruity Loops downloaded, you got it open up. So now what you'll see here is a very straightforward user interface. It might not look exactly like mine, but it's very similar, very straightforward. One of the reasons why I love FL Studio is it very simple to get started. We're here to make beats and music, not learn computer programs and fuck around with that. As childish or simplistic as it may look, this is a very powerful program. Some of the best producers use it, including Ninth Wonder and other greats. We'll get you running through the basics and you can decide for yourself. So as you'll see here, we've got a whole layout here. First things first, we'll go up this guide up here. You've got your file, edit, add patterns, etc. Open up the file menu. You see a simple drop down here. You can start a new project, save, open an old project, check out some of your recent projects, export your song, etc. What we're gonna do here to get things started is open up a new project when you go to your file menu you've got some templates in here for different genres etc but i like to just start empty we're gonna go to the new empty section click on that so now we've got a new session going here and show you what we've got going on we've got the pattern section and the song selection this will allow you to bounce back and forth between your pattern and your full song so if you just want to hear a single pattern from your song you can cycle through the pattern selection and if you want to hear the whole song together with everything compiled that you will go to your song selection moving on you've got your play button your stop button that's pretty self-explanatory You've got the record button. You've got your BPM selector here. This is the tempo of your song. And in here, you can make modifications to your beats per minute. You've got another bunch of selections here. Metronome, MIDI options. That's more advanced, and you don't need any of that to get started. Next, you have your pattern selector here. You'll be able to shift through your different patterns. Got your times up here. This will show you where you're at in your song as far as time. We've got our playlist selector. This is the playlist and this is where you will structure your whole song. You can add elements, take elements Oh, Next you have the piano roll. This is one of the most powerful tools in FL Studio. We will get to this in a bit. After that you've got the channel rack. This is where you will add your sound. We will break this down further as we go along. Then we've got the mixer where you will do your mixing and mastering. You've got your plugin picker. Got some other file options in here another plug and picker some reverb options different recording options some help options moving on from there we will head over to the browser browser is very important as well this is where all your sounds will be found got your recent projects in here plugins saved presets etc but main reason you're coming in here is to find your sounds now you might not be as loaded up as i am as you get into beat making you'll develop a collection of sounds but when you download fl studio it does come loaded up with some sounds if you search down here and find the packs menu and click on it you'll open it up and those are your included sounds and once you open up the pack selection in the browser you'll see a variety of sounds in there it might not look exactly the same as mine but very similar. So open up your channel rack here. This is the channel rack. Each of these gray and red little selections is a beat. So you have four beats per bar, four beats by four bars. This is a four by four time signature. Come over here to the far right and adjust eight, four, 16, whatever you want. We will just start with four, that's pretty simple. Come in here and program your drums and add your sounds and create your patterns in here so we'll start adding sound adding sounds is pretty straightforward you just come over to the browser let's open one up here let's find a hi-hat 
I like that one. So we're just going to click on it and drag and drop over here. Now that I've dragged and dropped it into the channel rack, our hi-hat is ready to be programmed and played. And we can move on and continue to add sound. Now we'll find a kick. Add the kick in. Again, just drag and drop. We will continue to compile our drum sound. We'll find a dope snare to use. Now we've got the basic elements of a drum kit. We keep it simple, have some fun. And now we will begin to compile a drum pattern. And this is where the BPMs and things will start to come into play. Just pre-program some hi-hat sounds here. So to do that, you can click in on the individual beat you would like your instrument to hit on. You could play via MIDI, which we will teach you later. And now I will show you how BPM comes into play. We're at 127 BPM right now. We'll press play. And you can hear it's pretty fast. Turn the BPM up even more. Gets quicker and quicker. And you slow it down. And you can see obviously it slows it down so adjusting the beats per minute will have a dramatic effect on the overall composition of the song it'll change the energy the mood the feel the emotions the sound things like hip-hop you usually keep it in like the 75 to 100 bpm range club music's 100 200 bpm range but it's music and there shouldn't be no standard rules so find whatever you're comfortable with play around don't stick to any rules and you'll come up with something dope so we'll continue to add to this 90 bpm got a simple hi-hat pattern let's add in some snares again very straightforward i just clicked it in on every fifth beat again with the kick very simple drum pattern but you're getting a start and you can start playing around with it and getting a feel for what you want to do maybe you want two snares in there maybe you want to change up the kick pattern it's your world man your mind is the paint fl studio is the canvas use your soul and create something dope that's the dope thing about music that's why i love music it's a expression of you this is just a basic guide to get you going i want to get you in there and make it some dope beats now i'll show you how to drop your pattern into the playlist and start constructing a song you got your playlist here you just click on this one your playlist is open up then you can come over here and just left click and it'll drop your pattern in there. You can move it left, right, up and down, and do as you please. There's more options up in here, some chopping options, but that is a subject we will cover later. Now I'm going to show you how to pick a plugin. You have various options for picking a plugin. You have this guy up here, over here. You can also left click one of your sounds in there, go to this insert option, and pick one. One plugin that every version of FL Studio comes with is FL Keys. A lot of these you see in here are aftermarket programs, but they all have FL Keys. So that is what we will choose here. So I'm just going to click on the FL Keys. Now we've got the FL Keys open up. We'll go back to the channel rack. Let's switch patterns. We'll go up to our pattern section here. Roll it down. We're on pattern two. Click on the FL Keys again. We've got it open up. Now we're going to show you what's up with the piano roll. So I'm going to go over here to the piano roll. And this is basically where you're going to program your instruments, your sounds. And if you play via MIDI, your notes will dump into the piano roll. You can adjust, edit, slice, remove notes, whatever you want to do. But for now, we're just going to paint in our notes. So let's start on the first beat here. This is where the pattern mode and such starts to really come into play. Now it's just playing the pattern. You can hear it on the first note but what I like to do as well you can bounce back and forth we'll go back to the we'll go back to the playlist here and let's drop this pattern here even though it's unfinished we'll just drop it here track number two right underneath the drum pattern and now we'll go to song mode and start programming it all together and it's that easy you can just paint in notes remove notes as you wish add them in other spots whatever you want to do so add in some bass. This is very simple again. It might sound childish, but we're not here trying to make a Dr. Dre beat. I'm just showing you guys the powers of basic FL Studio. What you're going to get if you download the trial version or the very most basic version. I'm showing you guys the power and inspiring you to do something dope for yourself. Let's add in some bass. 
down here again, right click, insert, and boo bass. This is another powerful plugin that FL Studio has. Very basic, every version has it. We're gonna change our pattern, drop down to pattern three. And let's put in the empty slide here. And then we'll go and we'll start programming our bass. Can you just add notes, move them around, place them wherever you feel? And then we can start playing around and start structuring the thing. We're in the playlist now. We'll start structuring a song. Let's start with the keys. All right, that sounds cool. Do a four bar loop here for the intro. Add some bass here. All right, that's the intro. Let's maybe drop one last note out of here. You can drag, slide, chop, whatever you want to do here. Move things, but this is what we're going to do. It's our intro. Start laying down room for a verse here. Again, we're just playing around, structuring the beat. It's really up to you. You can get as creative as you want. Verse, hook, hook, verse, intro, hook, verse. It's that straightforward, man. There's tons of plugins, tons of included sounds. It's really limitless with what you can do. Now that I've showed you how to add sound, create pattern, play in the piano roll, structure some beats, start layering things in the playlist, I need to show you two of the most important things. First, saving your project. Go up to the file section. Save as, just like anything else. Now you've got your project saved. That's great. But let's say we want to get this out in MP3 so we can upload it out there. We're going to come back up to the file menu, down to export. There's various file types, but for right now, to make things quick, we're going to go into MP3 file. Choose where you want it to export to, and then hit save. For right now, you just want to make sure MP3 is selected and then come back down here and click background rendering or just start. Pressing start will lock your screen while you're rendering. Background rendering will allow you to continue to utilize the computer while it's rendering and exporting. Rendering in the background now. Once it's done, it'll pop back up. Now you've got your beat on your desktop. You can upload it and get going. That's it, man. That's how simple it is to get started. Again, today is not about becoming just Blaze. No, today is about learning how to get in here and get going. That's it. We will continue to learn as long as you enjoy this video. If you liked it, if you learned something, if you fuck with it, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm B Green. Thanks for watching.